they call it uh, Confusopoly, uh, which is basically, if we don't show our prices and we don't do anything, we can charge anything that we want to and we can confuse the marketplace. To make things into a smoke screen so they can maximize income by dishonesty. They give you this grand discount, you get, say they give you a 50% discount, which is extremely generous. Well, that's dandy. But they get to control the number that they're going to discount. It was a great little insight. Uh, it was $1,028 for blood work that when we ran it back through our price, $39. And it was for $1,200 for 20 minutes. And they said, well, you don't have health insurance? Well, we can write that bill down to $450. That bill was a bill we meant to send to the insurance companies. Think about that for a minute. You're looking at over 700% variation for the same product. They make money by people like Gadea and her employer not knowing what the actual charges are. That, in my mind, is on purpose because it creates a very ignorant buyer. Providers will continue to take advantage as long as the players, and we talked about who they are, don't agree that the overall costs are the real problem. If you don't control the cost of healthcare, healthcare costs will go up. What'd you say, Jay? I love when I can tell Jay Kempton that I don't believe him. I think he's wrong. I don't think that the employer cares about the real cost. I think some employers do. I'll be honest, your employers do. Okay, your employers do, but that's why you started this. The, the threat of real transparency, coupled with real buying behavior by large employers, is enough to move pricing behavior. We want them to understand that a shoulder MRI should cost about 500 bucks, not 4,000. I am always going to consider the financial side effects of care. Not that we're gonna to try to be cheap, but if they can have the same procedure, the same image, the same test, et cetera, for 500 instead of 5,000, that's my job. Because that's every bit as real and damaging to a patient uh, as a clinical side effect. But what we find is that the, you know, it's, it's one thing to have insurance and another thing to get care. Um, and we're happy to do that. That's part of how we all, I think, win together eventually. Thanks. Yeah, you bet.